hi guys welcome back to my channel it is nello here as always um i don't know why my intro was a little bit dramatic <laughs> but yes maybe it's because i'm looking fine today i just did this makeup to come here and make this video okay we're not going anywhere actually actually i'm going out but let me not ramble let me not ramble um welcome back to my channel guys hope you guys are all doing fine um my last video was a bit serious so i just wanted to do something fun something bubbly something lively because i enjoy being fun i don't like being like sad and moody and yeah all that stuff anyways so today i'm going to be doing the never have i ever youtube challenge i don't know it's not even a challenge okay um i want to do have hey god i said have an have a, have a, have i ever i want to do never have i ever yeah i want to do never have i ever and um, i asked you guys on my instagram if you're not following my instagram please follow my instagram it's always somewhere up here um i asked you guys on instagram to just give me throw, throw some questions my way because i don't want to use the generic ones online because i don't think they're that interesting so you guys asked me some questions <coughs> okay so i'm going to be answering that today like never have i ever and you guys know how never have i ever works like is either you have like a drink or is that you're taking shots or maybe you're just answering it with you guys i'm so sorry for hearing the noise natural light as always so outside noise anyways is that i have a drink or you're answering it with like cards saying you have or you have never but i'm going to be using my apple cider vinegar because i hate this thing so much but i try to drink it every day because you know your girl is trying to stay healthy eat right and all that good stuff lose some weight so i'm going to be using apple cider because i hate it i was almost tempted to use hennessy but just like no you're on a diet you are on a weight loss journey a healthy living journey no hennessy for you to your bed day okay so um i'm going to be using apple cider today yeah Let me go to my Instagram and get the question. So I asked you guys, it was just 14 hours ago, but I've gotten a lot actually. So I'm just going to be answering all the ones I've gotten. My Instagram as usual. So yeah, a lot. Okay, we're at the beginning. First question, never have I ever fought physically. Better fight to <laughs> See, I'm not a physical fighter, okay? I've never, okay. I've not fought physically since I became an adult. All my physical fights were as children or maybe in jail, so one, two, or three. So I don't think it counts. So I'm not going to drink to that because nobody can catch me today. This is my age, fighting physically. Never, like, never ever. Never have I ever done it before my wedding. Is it because of my. Um, you guys, I know this is not how this game is played, but I'm going to be gisting, okay? Is it because of my moved in with my husband? um boyfriend before marriage video i feel like that's why this person is asking it but uh let me break it to you before francis i had boyfriends too okay never have i ever slept in church oh, you guys i hate the taste of this thing i don't know why the devil worked that way see i don't know why i'm always feeling sleep in church i'm sure i'm not alone in this like see god forgive me i'm going to try and stop that even if, if it means to drink coffee before church but i kind of always always fall asleep in church just for a few like minutes sometimes seconds but i find myself drifting never have I ever peed on a bed as an adult no why god even when i'm pregnant even when i have kids like never never have i ever gone for a party i wasn't invited to why why would i go for a party, a party i wasn't invited to um i've never like sometimes i might not be invited by the uh, celebrant or the whatever but my friend was invited and then i go with my friend so my friend invited me it counts never have I ever sneaked out to see your boyfriend i don't really do sneaking it wasn't like a thing that we did in my house like sneaking out we just went out like it's not like when you're going out to come and say oh where are you going where are you going to see like i literally just went out and i saw my boyfriend um, never have i ever used my husband's toothbrush yeah not often but it happens never have i ever cheated in my past relationships before never like i hate cheating i'll just break up with you like <laughs> breaking up is not that hard i'll just break up with you if i'm tired enough to cheat i will just break up with you because really what's the point 
It's over. Um, never have I ever left school to see a man. <laughs> I hate this drink so much. Never have I ever eaten Indian food. Um, yeah. See, so guys, whenever I travel, I eat a lot of Indian food. In fact, my sister's house, then I remember her husband used to buy um, a lot of Indian food. And their food kind of tastes like Nigerian food somehow. I don't know how to explain it. But when I'm outside Nigeria, I, I'm not like an experimental person when it comes to food. So I tend to eat familiar things. So I eat a lot of Indian food. I eat Thai food. Thai food, I don't even think it's that... Like, it's just not weird food. Yes, I eat a lot of Indian food and Thai food when I'm not in the country. Um, never have I ever had sex on the first date. No, like, why? well, people do it. Let me not say why. People do it early. They even end up married with children and married forever. But just, like, it's too early. Like, I don't even know if you're a serial killer yet. It's too early. I'm going to purposely ignore some, some that I don't want to give answers to because... My mother might die. <laughs> my mother in the middle of who is in the other room. <laughs> my fate. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sure she's going to watch this video and come and ask me. Anyways, never have I ever had one night stand. Nah, man. It still boils down to the same thing I just said. Um having sex on the first date. Nah. Um mm -mm. Never have you ever lied about where you are going to. I never ever lie about where I'm going to. Because if something happens to you, you need somebody to know where you are, okay? So never lie about where you're going to. At least tell some people. And um, yeah, just never lied. I've always had some sort of freedom in my life. I've never really lied about where I'm going to. Maybe when I was like a lot younger, but not in my adult years. I don't know why my armpit is scratching you guys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna scratch it. Never have I ever made the first move on a guy you like. No. <laughs> nah. Like, it's not me to make the first move. You people, <laughs> you might have to cut off my leg. Oh. Like, I'm not that brave, okay? People are that brave, but I'm really not that brave. Like, <laughs> I don't want to raise that touch. When you were single, have you ever slept in a guy's house except your husband? Um, no, really, no. Like, I visit guys' house. Wait, what are you saying? Actually, yes, I've slept in a guy's house before. <laughs> Fun fact, it's not my boyfriend, it wasn't my boyfriend or anything, or like a guy friend. Like, those days in Abuja that will go out, like, will go clubbing or something. And, um, yeah, it's the middle of the night. I don't want to go too far. All of us will just go and sleep in a friend's house. And just, if you see how we to jump back on the bed, like six, seven people in the bed. And hey, now, yeah, I have. It's not my husband, but it wasn't my boyfriend. Never have you ever cheated in a relationship? No, a lot of you asked me these cheating questions. Like, some people will see in me, it makes you think that I'm a cheater or that I'm the kind of person that will cheat. I don't know, but I've not cheated. I've never cheated. I've never even dreamt of cheating or thought of cheating, and I never will, okay? I'll just leave that person. Well, now it's my husband. I'm not going to we'll, we'll solve the problem. We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Never have I ever blacked out in a club. I have blacked out not in a club. Because when I go clubbing, I don't drink too much to black out. I drink enough to have fun. But I've actually started drinking at home. If I blacked out to the house before going to the club. Like, I ended up not going because I blacked out while in school, though. But in recent years, I've never blacked out. I can get mad drunk sometimes if I want to. Because I hardly get drunk, you guys. Fun fact, before I get drunk, it takes a lot. Like, I'm, I love Hennessy, and I drink a lot of that, and it never gets me drunk. So if I even want to feel like I'm drinking something, I always stupidly mix Hennessy and champagne, which is a no-no. Don't do it. Do not try it at home, okay? When I like feel like, oh, I'm just drinking, but I'm not feeling anything, I just go and take a glass of champagne after drinking my Hennessy. And that's all it takes. Literally, that is all it takes to get me like drunk to an extent. From time to time, I can get a little bit drunk, you know, but nothing too crazy. Like, I get drunk that I threw up and all that, but nothing too crazy. Never have I ever had crush on a married man. No. You see, I don't even have... In fact, I don't even see men like that again. Let me put it that way. Like, it's hard for me to even notice a man, not to talk of having crush. Not because, like, I don't have male friends, but just, like, I'm not searching. I'm not even looking. Like, I'm not interested. It's, it's hard. Well, I can have crush on. If I'm my crush now, it's Rihanna. I want to say I can have crush on, like, celebrities, but really, do I? It's Rihanna that I'm crushing on. Ew! No, I can't even read this on this channel. Ew. Ew. What is wrong with you people? God. 
Ah, I wish I could show you guys this thing, but I can't even say it. That's how bad it is. Ew! Never have you ever called a girl to warn her about your man. <laughs> even if you must think that I have time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Even if I'm mad, even if I'm stupid, first of all, there's never I've never had any girl issue with anybody I've been with, seriously. But then again, even if I did, <laughs> I'll just leave you and jump onto another man. Mind you that as I'm with one person, there at least like Hey God, I'm so sorry about this noise. There are at least like five other people disturbing me by the side. So if I have to come and be fighting for you, I'll just leave you and just move on to the next. It's not that serious. I've never, like never, and I never will. Never have you ever paid while swimming in a pool, not as an adult. As a child, we used to think that was funny, but not as an adult. I, I don't think I'm going to drink to, her, to that. As a child, it used to be so fun to all see the color change. And it was so stupid. God, oh God. A lot of questions I don't think I want to give the answer to. Never have you ever slapped a man? Never. Like, why? You want them to beat me? <laughs> they will beat me. Oh, I've never. Like, never. Maybe my husband shall, but not like serious slap. Like, when we're playing or he annoys me and I'm just like, you know. Yeah. But never. Never have you ever dated a man you're older than? No. You're a child. You're not a man. If I'm older than you, sorry to me, you're a child. Like, couple with the fact that girls are already more mature than men. You're not going to be way younger than me again or younger than me. It can't work. It can't work because I like to think that I'm matured, you know. So it means I'm your mother. Never have you ever had DNC before? If you did, why? Okay, I've had DNC before, so let me drink to that first. The story is actually on my channel. Um, um how what was the title? My miscarriage something. I feel like I might tell that story again for my new subscribers and um, you know, then when I told you, I think I was a bit shy, but my first ever pregnancy was a miscarriage. That was before I had Kobe. It was a miscarriage and I had to do a DNC to remove the baby. Okay, because the baby died in there and there was nothing again. So I had to do a DNC. It's not my emotional for me now, but then I literally wanted to die. I was crying every single day. I thought that they took my child away from me. It's not funny. It's not funny, but... Well, now I can laugh about it because I have three beautiful children. But yes, I have had a DNC before. Um, do you love any of your kids more? This not even never have I ever. But um, hold on, I'm looking at the minutes. But uh, no, you know, sometimes I just sit and be like, God, what if three of my children need a kidney at the same time? What am I going to do? I'm just like, oh, thank God they have a father too. So we'll give, I'll, I'll give two my own. I'd rather die, give two of them my own, and their dad will give them one, and I know we'll be alive to take care of them. I don't know, but I don't love any of my kids more. That's a silly question for, like, if you are one of those that ask mothers that question, don't do it, because it's very silly. Like, I literally cannot imagine choosing one of my child over the, or one of my children, what's the word? Whatever. I literally cannot imagine choosing one over the others. Like, how the, God forbid, no, no, I don't. Never have you ever had an abortion? I've, yes, I have. I have had. I have had. You guys, I had a miscarriage. I just answered it now. Um, never have I ever starved for two days straight. No, I never starve. At least I eat garden egg. Even when I'm doing street dieting, I always eat garden egg. Never have you ever regretted having kids for a split second, especially when they're stressing you out? Never, never regretted having kids. Never, ever, ever. Even when they're stressing me out. The thing that always comes to my mind is, I just want to take a break from you guys. I just want to leave and just get myself and come back. Even yesterday when I was talking to Francis, I was looking so worn out and tired. It was just like, kind of, you look like you need a break. You need like you need to travel. But I can't because of Corona. But um, I've never regretted having kids. Never. God, my kids are blessings. Never have I ever lied to my husband just to get some cash from him. Of course. <laughs> Nothing serious, so it's not like a lie that needs like one million naira or something. When it's that serious, I don't have to lie, you give it to me. But um, small, small money, like small, small money, it might not even be the lying to get the money, it might be that I bought something of 5k and I say it's 10k or something. But Francis knows me, he knows that I do that, so it's not a problem. Never have I ever been upset with my husband only to realize I was wrong in the first place. Yes, now steady all the time, <laughs> all the time. I will, sometimes I'll say sorry, sometimes I just can cook special food for him so that he forget it. Um, Jesus, what is wrong with people? Ah, God, another one. Ah, Jesus. The thing is, I don't even mind answering this question, but reading it out is doing my mouth somehow. It's doing my mouth somehow. Never have I ever lied about my age. You guys, fun fact, I lie about my age all the time. Like... <laughs> all the time i lie about my age but i don't claim to be younger i actually claim to be older because 
a lot of my friends are older number one number two when you tell people your age sometimes or something maybe you're young or something they start looking at you like a child like oh you're actually a child i don't know so i lie about my age all the time i used to add like five years <laughs> i used to add up to five years um but now i just add a few years just just a few years but i lie about my age all the time she said my boyfriend never kissed a stranger never why kissed on the first date never um kissed on the first date again never dreamed of a holiday vacation to be by myself i don't dream about it i vocally say it all the time like it's what i need right now but it's not possible like i would have gone on a vacation by myself or at least with my husband alone this year but it didn't happen um you guys see my cup see the lipstick on my cup i don't even know if you can see it see the lipstick on my cup it's so weird um uh, sex on the first date you guys have noticed Sha. never have you ever missed your ex while married never see but for a fact i've not had a lot of exes and no i've had like one or two a little too. I'm a humble. Like, I've only had like one serious relationship before I got married. Every other one was like <laughs> joke. But, um, never, ever. If, if it's over with us, it's over. I don't like you again. I don't care about you again. Even if you die, I might not even cry. Like, <laughs> I will not care. I'm, please don't die. Like, I don't want anybody to die. But I'm just saying, Sha, never. Never have you, never have I ever farted in front of my children. Of course. And when I fart these days, I tell them to tell me, thank you, ma. Like, of course you have to thank me for my farts. It's not easy. Yeah, so. Okay, that brings us to the end of this video. You guys, I almost finished this apple cider. I'm so happy. Let me just finish it up anyways. So guys, that brings us to the end of this video. I enjoyed making this video. It was fun. You guys are so nosy and some of you are just ridiculously irritating and just disgusting, okay? I could not answer some questions. Some questions I avoided answering because I, I, I don't want some people to see the answer to it, like some people in my family. <laughs> Some other questions I didn't answer because you guys were just too, too just disgusting. Just too disgusting. I just couldn't even read it out on here. You guys should do your Never Have I Ever. Um, you know, you can answer the same questions or more questions. I would like to know. Please tag me. I would love to watch, okay? Hope you guys are all doing fine and staying safe. I'm going to go ahead now and take some fun pictures because... See, let me show you guys my OOTD because, see, I'm feeling myself today, okay? So, I'm wearing um, a long top with biker shorts i can't believe i'm wearing biker shorts i'm wearing biker shorts like <laughs> anyways hope you guys are all doing fine and please don't forget to subscribe i'm begging you in the name of god subscribe to my channel like comment share and all that good stuff and i will see you guys in my next video